Hi, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It's Viren. Today I'm going to introduce the cover A's and the tools I try to take for this video. The smartphone bad at stabilization due to its feature and heavy body. The good thing is that you don't pay extra money to buy it, and you will bring it all the time. The action camera, a better choice. It's light, and there are a lot of tools to help to get the thing you need. Now it's the drone. It's not here, so I pretend I get one here by getting some YouTube clips to show you how it works. So this is from Air Photography. The DJI Drone Mini 2 takes like 600 US dollar. It can really fly. Size like your palm. It's nice. Yes, it could get stuck if you try to jump while pedaling at the same time. And the frame is stable and smooth. But don't jump pedal in case of the accident. So let's see the clips from Ryan and get some lessons from him. You need to learn how to do this. But if you're a bike riding YouTuber, you might want to get good at it. Depending on the trip, I either use the Mavic Air 2 or the Mavic Mini. So, is there anything to meet my requirement? Okay, so we come back. Here is it, the Insta360 ONE X. I studied this camera for like 10 minutes and I decided to take it. I fixed it on the handlebar. Now let's take a look and see what's going on with my e-bike Ace. We start from home, from the shadow, you will find the invisible selfie stick. Why invisible? When the angle turns back to me, you don't find the selfie stick. Well, I don't wear a helmet today. Don't learn it. So far, it's great. Apparently, you need to use both hands on the bike instead of jump paddle. It's sunny today, but still looks dim. Now, they are one X2 and the X3 now, with a better performance. Those two works better on both color and the voice recording. Now, let's listen to how it sounds. One X. Now the action camera is on the seat post. You can notice how fast we are by the near cars. I cancelled the voice a little bit. The color is better now, and you can get more details now. And uh, we are around the speed 65 km per hour, which is 40 miles. The feeling is good when you crash over those scooters and find no one on the back, finally. The cars are gradually far away from me. This 3000 watts makes this carbon e-bike 35 kg, but also powerful. Let's do it again with my helmet. Ace is 4 inch tires with 20 inch width. The tires look big. When I make a turn, there is no shake of the video. Get slowly and the ride safe, even it's a fast e-bike. Following the lure is to respect your life. When I try to get a start, I will adjust the power assist system gear into zero. So there is no power assistance while pedaling. With some speed, now it's some throttle time. Let's go with full throttle. I adjust the action camera on my right, so you could finally see how Ace looks like. Sometimes I pedal a lot. There is a job seat. So with a higher position, my legs would be straight while pedaling to the bottom. It means a lot to your knees. No one won't get hurt by exercise. This 100mm job seat seems not that enough. 125mm might be better. My left side hits the self stick all the time, so the video is regularly shaking. And it's clearly invisible now of the self stick. Very funny, right? Very funny, right? Though it's a second hand Insta360. It's working great. Now I am reaching around 50 miles. Each time it's 50 miles per hour, I will go by some throttle again. 
is a journey of 4,000 meters from home to the office. Not a long way. However, I drive the ACE every day. This angle is not bad. In the last one year, I was always thinking about one thing. Is the carbon ACE the only one 20 and 4 fat e-bike made of carbon in the world? At least, this kind of commuter. If you guys have some answers for me, it would be highly appreciated. I'm going across the street now. Get slowly. I didn't let off the thumb throttle, so it looks like out of control. But it's not the problem of the brake. It's a Chinese brand brake, Ronglun, a four-piston one. Works very well for almost one year now. That are just under-engineered for the bike. This seems very appropriate. Get slowly in case. So here is what I do. By power assist system zero, I pedal to go. Once it's cool, lower the drop seat. Let's thumb again. A low position makes your thighs close to the frame. By rubbing up against the frame, turning would be a safe and a comfortable thing. And you could really feel the carbon on the frame. It's very cool. It's almost the office building now. There are four power assist levels. Level zero leads to no power assist, so you could pedal all the time and uh, use the thumb throttle to accelerate your riding. Level one leads to max speed 25 km per hour, which is 50 miles. Level two goes to 40 km per hour, which is 25 miles. And uh, level three, the sport mode meets the top speed from 55 to 66 km per hour, max 41 miles. So why there is a range like that? When your battery generally runs out, the top speed getting slowly. Due to the four different power assist level, it will be perfect choices for your family members. No matter it's the young boy or the old, they could get the suitable speed and their own way. Seems this camera and the selfie stick work great. Though the combination looks not good as the diameter is not the correct one. I put some face clothes there to fix the stick and it takes time to get it loosened and exchange it on the front or rear position of the bike. Also, after riding for a long time, the bike looks a little dirty. Finally, it is 35 kg, which is light, but still I can't lift for many times. The 1000 watt version comes to no more than 30 kg. That's almost the same to a normal electric mountain bike. Wow, it looks like an idiot. So here are all about the carbon A's. Thanks for watching. We will share more by this Insta360. Please. Kindly give me a thumb and subscribe me. Bye.